Sick of getting blisters? Stop slipping and just be comfortable with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Great fit, great comfort, lots of grip, and an even better price. Available now at puregripsocks.com. Marcus Rashford is officially a Nike Mercurial Signature athlete. Although it's technically not his first Mercurial Signature colorway, it is the first time his boots are being made available to the public, and Nike have gone all out, even with the packaging having the Marcus Rashford branding pretty much all over the box. And for anyone that cares to see the label, there it is. Open the box and you'll find a pop of color along with the Rashford quote that really is the main focus of this design. When you believe in yourself, incredible things can happen. Of course, a string bag is included, basically matching the boots in white with that color gradient mercurial logo. You'll also find the quote there on the back. Pretty cool looking string bag. It gets a five out of 7.13 and of course you get the boots themselves ladies and gentlemen say hello to the marcus rashford nike zoom mercurial superfly 9 elite a pair of football boots that i think a lot of people will appreciate specifically if you're not a fan of the nike air branding that's been featured on so many of the mercurial colorways this year this boot however does bear a little bit of a premium on the retail price like most signature colorways instead of 275 dollars for the superfly this colorway is going to run you 305. however if you check out the first link down below you'll find buy it now links along with exclusive sr4u coupon codes to pick these up below their normal retail price as for the details of this new rashford colorway of course there are some significant differences visually compared to other super fly nines that we've seen so far and do keep in mind that because rashford exclusively wears the superfly this colorway is only releasing as a superfly 9 and not as a vapor 15. nonetheless you will of course notice the variation of the nike swoosh smack dab in the middle kind of a medium size i would say with a little bit of like a holographic effect in these little circles and the swoosh itself kind of having like a pinkish color that gradient changes into almost like a yellowish green towards the tip of the swoosh. You have that mirrored on both the lateral and medial side, which looks quite good. And again, it kind of gives the Superfly a little bit of a different silhouette than some of the other colorways because of how different the graphics are, kind of airing on the simple side. And that's what I really like about this. The majority of the upper, especially from a distance, is just plain white. And it's not until you get up close that you get all of the little details and personally I was a little bit excited and you can see that there is kind of like a grid pattern running through the lateral side very straight lines on this side and then kind of curvy lines on the medial side no real explanation for the significance of this and it does look a lot like flywire cables which we have previously seen on the superfly this however is just a graphic printed on the surface of the upper no physical changes to the material have been made but I do think it looks quite cool you'll of course find white laces along with white exposed fly net the Marcus Rashford logo and are right on the front of the collar itself with that cool kind of tropical color gradient which is kind of the main theme of this boot you also find a stripe in that same gradient of course featuring that quote one part on the lateral side the second part of the quote on the medial side overall just kind of framing the back of the boot really really nicely and giving this colorway some really nice flow as a base you'll find sole plate coloring that is very reminiscent of the launch colorway of the latest generation of mercurial and then it kind of has this iridescent white finish in the heel transitioning into this kind of color changing almost chrome reddish pink color in the forefoot all of which of course is a wearable finish with the final detail being the insole itself which does have a pop of color compared to the rest of the upper where again you have that tropical color gradient with of course the Marcus Rashford and Mercurial branding very small on the heel and on feet they arguably look even better definitely one of the cleanest Superfly 9 colorways so far as far as the overall fit and feel is concerned there are physically no differences compared to the other colorways other than the Nike swoosh, which is actually 3D molded and kind of glued to the surface of the upper. So there is some added thickness in the swoosh on both the lateral and medial side. However, the difference on the ball 
I found was very, very subtle to the point where I really wouldn't worry about it. If you like the way that these look over other colorways, get them regardless of the swoosh itself. And then as far as the Superfly is concerned, it is arguably one of the best speed boots on the market. Certainly if you're into the techie aspect of modern football boots, the feel of the zoom unit underfoot, the overall tight wrap that is kind of a signature of a mercurial, the responsive feel, the mid-cut collar that of course you get with the Superfly, that ultimately does nothing as far as performance is concerned, but does look quite cool. And of course that super aggressive traction, there's really nothing that you should dislike about the Mercurials if you're a Mercurial fan. This is kind of the pinnacle of what this series has led up to up until this point. Obviously being a Merc, it does have a tight overall fit. So if you don't like tight fitting football boots, regardless of how wide or narrow your feet are, then the Mercurials probably aren't a great option. But as long as you don't have excessively wide feet and do like that tight fit, that one-to-one -one sensation in terms of how the upper wraps your foot with really no give to it whatsoever, you should fit comfortably in any of the Mercurials, be it the Superfly, or the Vapor. And then as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. And there you have it, Rashford's first signature public release. Let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.